Like, is it true that everything kind of like repeats on the LSAT? So eventually like a game that I've been doing for so long, can, the way that I diagram it will come in handy for other games? Absolutely. There are some games that are virtual carbon copies of each other. And there are others that repeat the same themes again and again and again. For example, grouping in out games with long conditional chains. There have been several games like that. There have been other multi-level ordering games that are virtual copies of each other. This has become less common in recent exams, but it is still worth becoming proficient in those just because they come up again and again. And I have a list of games that have repeated that I'll send you after okay. this conversation that you can look at as an exercise. But you also want to develop a certain flexibility in your approach because the hardest games are what are often called curveball weird games where they don't really neatly fit into a category but they still have the same underlying principles. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.